Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. I want to show you a uh, 5-bit counter using uh, JK flip-flops. Um, before I do that, I have to explain what a flip-flop is, or a JK flip-flop, and how it's very useful to us in, in doing counters. This is a, a diagram of one right here, one with using NAND gates, uh, not AND gates. And this is the truth table over here to the right-hand side. Now remember that uh, the JK flip-flop is a um, state-preserving uh, circuit which means that we can input uh, data into it and it will maintain that data for, uh, for the duration. So let's look at this. Uh, here's our state table. When J and K both have zeros coming into it and the clock is 1, there would be no change to the outputs Q and Q0. They, whatever they were before, they, they remain the same. If a J is 1 and a K is a 0, then the Q becomes 1 and the Q0, obviously, the opposite of that is 0. When k is 1 and j is 0, then uh, q is 0 and 1 is uh, the opposite. But what's really interesting is when both j and k are 1, it acts as a toggle, in other words, reverses itself. And that's the feature that we're going to use when we're creating our, uh, our uh, counter. So let me uh, uh, save that, and we'll bring our other ones up now. Let's look and observe, here are five bits in uh, binary sequences. And you'll notice that the far right bit, the least significant bit, toggles between 0 and 1. Now remember what I said about a JK flip-flop. When 1 goes into it and the clock pulse comes up, then it reverses what it was. So the first flip-flop we're going to do is just going to be a 1's input to it with a clock signal, and it's going to reverse 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. The next one will transition whenever 0 to 1 and back to 0 again, then the next bit will toggle to 1. So it's on a transition. And we're going to continue that theme. You'll notice that the third column right here turns 1 when both of these are 1. The fourth column will turn 1 when all three of the previous ones are 1, and so on and so forth. So we can use an AND gate to tell it when the next flip-flop to turn on. Well, let's look at the design. I always like to uh, draw them up as I'm uh, using it. So this is this is what it's going to look like. Here's the first flip-flop. That's the least significant bit. This is the second one, third, fourth, and fifth. And here are the AND gates that tells us when to turn those bits on. You notice that they're in a series so that when we get to the uh, leftmost bit over here, all three of the previous bits have to have been turned on in order to turn the uh, last bit on. Well, all right, well, let's start writing that, uh, writing that circuit. And we're going to use Logisim to do that. So let's pull that over. And we've got our flip-flop uh, right here already. So we're going to go in and we're going to add uh, the uh, circuits to do uh, the pin to turn it on to 1. We're going to make it uh, output will be yes, and we'll draw that down here. Okay, up, and put that both into those. I'm going to turn that to a one. And now let's go ahead and put a clock uh, in here, and we'll put the clock right down here so we can we can see it. We want the clock facing north. Makes it just a little bit easier to get in there. And there goes the clock in there. All right. Um, and just to demonstrate how it works, I'm going to put a pin over here on this one. Okay, I'm going to make it face west so we can connect up to it. And it will be output. So we'll take a look and see what happens. So now let's go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to set this to 1. one. 
there we go and now you'll notice that whenever I toggle the uh, clock back and forth how it turns it one zero one zero one zero and that will be our uh, least significant bit right there all right well to shorten this video a little bit I'm going to go and add the circuits uh, and put them in so you don't watch me do it but uh, I'm going to add the next uh, NAND gate so I'll, when I get it to put in I'll turn the video back on and explain it to you uh, just a second stay right there don't go all right here we've got the other flip flop put in there notice that we take the output of the least significant bit and as input to the next one turn both J and K on so it's uh, 0 1 0 and 1 and let's go ahead and uh, we've connected the clock up to it so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens so um, <laughs> get back to zeros they're both zeros right now and I do the clock pulse once and there it turns one the rightmost bit is one and then I do it again and then the leftmost bit is one and then I do it one more time and then both turns are one so there's a two bit counter right there well, now let's go ahead and add the the third uh, flip flop. So let me do that, and I'll say I'll pause again. So um, it takes me just a few minutes. I don't want the video to be too long. I'll pause this. Well, here I've added the other gate. Notice the addition of the AND gate up here. This is what tells the um, the third bit from the right to turn to one. When both the first bit and the second bit are turned to one, then this one will be turned on. So uh, let's run that simulation. Let's see what it looks like. And you can see the, the bits in here. So we'll set it. There's, uh, let me put it back to all zero. Zero, zero. So one. There's two. There's three. There's four, five, six, and then finally seven. Now when I get this all done, I'll put the uh, LEDs at the bottom so you can see it. But now this theme right here that I'm circling is what we're going to do for the next two bits. So let's do that one in sequence and just to show you how it's done I'll, I'll take a little bit of time here and I'll show you what I do as far as adding the uh, uh, the flip-flop. So I'm going to take a JK flip-flop and I'll put it out here and leave myself enough room so I can get a AND gate. I'll go up here and copy this one and put it right there and I'm going to uh, take the output of this and make it the input to the uh, flip-flop both signals let me carry the clock over put that in there that's very good take the output of the flip-flop here and make it the input to this one and the output of this one into the top. Boom. Okay, now there we have our two AND gates. Now we have our fourth bit. Let's run that through and we'll, and there we are running through the bits and everything looks uh, pretty good. Yep. All right, very good. So then we got one more um, flip flop to do, and uh, we're just going to basically replicate this one, and that the series is carried throughout the rest of the uh, uh, rest of the series. If you want to do a eight bits or sixteen or thirty two, it's the same circuit. So uh, that's what's nice about a five bit counter. Let me pause this and add it. <coughs> now we have our full uh, five bit counter and uh, simulation let me uh, go up here and uh, I'll uh, reset the simulation and uh, we'll turn this to one and that's our initial state and then we'll just go through the counter and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, ticks enable and frequency is about uh, we'll put it at 8 Hertz which is not too terribly fast and we'll say ticks enabled so we can watch it go through the sequences like that now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add uh, the output so we can see it. So uh, let's stop this and let's go back in. And I'm going to add um, uh, some LEDs down here so you can see the lights turn on and off. Um, so I'll add one. I'll add the um, most 
the least significant bit down here. So an LED, we'll put that uh, right here. Okay. And we'll take the output of this and we will run it to that uh, LED. We have to make it face north. All right. There. And we'll put a label down on it. Then the label will be uh, uh, south. We'll say that's the. Uh, the uh, one bit. Okay. And then we're going to copy this and place it over here. So that will be the two bit, the four bit, the eight bit, and the sixteen bit. We'll go change these labels. That's the that's the 2-bit. This is the 4-bit. This is the 8-bit. And then finally, this is the 16-bit. All right. I'm gonna, let me draw the lines, and then I'll demonstrate this to you. Hold on a moment. So here we have our 5-bit counter with JK flip-flops and let's just go ahead and start the simulation and here are the bits down here and you'll see uh, that turned on. Let me just go ahead and enable ticks and you'll see it just kind of go through and there's our 5-bit counter and it'll just continue doing that. Uh, there's 32 and then start back to the beginning. A very, very interesting project. I encourage you to try it yourself and draw it. And uh, it's, a, it's a very good lesson on, on how counters work and how uh, we use JK flip-flops and state, uh, state circuits to, uh, to do this. Hope you enjoyed this. Looking forward to doing another one for you. Have a good day.